our focus here on this slide is to uh, understand the topography uh, of the lungs. And you'll need to think about the superior topography or limit uh, of each lung uh, versus its inferior uh, limit. So first, let's start with the superior uh, limit of the lung. And we see the apex of the right lung projecting above the clavicle. We also see the apex of the left lung uh, projecting above of the left clavicle. And if we take a posterior uh, view uh, of the apices of the lungs, uh, they'll have a vertebral level uh, relative to C7, the vertebra prominens. The distance above the clavicle is about 2.5 centimeters, uh, which would be equivalent uh, to one inch. The inferior uh, limits of the lungs are going to depend along which uh, line of axis we're looking at or we're viewing. And we will uh, describe three axes. One will be midclavicular, one will be on the lateral side of the thoracic wall, uh, mid axillary, and then posteriorly uh, we'll have one that runs along either side of the vertebral column, and that'll be a paravertebral vertical axis. If we start with the midclavicular, going to mid-axillary, going to the paravertebral, the inferior limits of the right lung and the left lung uh, will be at rib 6, midclavicular, mid-axillary, the lung will extend down to rib 8, and then uh, posteriorly, the inferior limit uh, of the right lung and the left lung will extend down to the level of your 10th rib. So it's 6, 8, 10. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.